Hi, everybody. Uh, this is a tragic incident. I am absolutely deeply sorry that this ever happened, but I want to make sure that we, that we react positively and in a way that's credible and we move this forward. The EPA has moved a little bit too slowly and failed. Today, using the power of the Clean Air Act, we're getting VWs polluting vehicles off the road and we're reducing harmful pollution in our air pollution that should never have been emitted in the first place. The scope of our agreement is unprecedented. It not only addresses the damage done, but it provides funding for states and tribes to make their air even cleaner, and it secures major investments that will support the transformation towards clean vehicles that is taking place already all across the auto industry. We will have a comprehensive data package on the community near the end of March, and that information will be available to the public in April. But one of the important lessons there is that what China does and what the U.S. does in the large economies is going to be the significant issue moving forward. The developing countries have to come to the table with the developed countries and really get serious. And we have to get some, some opportunities for financial strategy that will drive that moving forward. <laughs> I am feeling very proud and very happy. Today we just completed a historic Kigali agreement and it is going to prevent a half a degree Celsius from, from rising by the end of this century. It was a great accomplishment for hundreds of countries who came together and worked so hard.